Hello, I'm Nicole, and I'm part of the research team for the Searchlight Study at the University of Washington. In this video, I will explain the purpose of the study and what it means to be a participant. You can watch this video to learn about what to expect, the risks and benefits of participating, or you can read our consent form. We encourage you to do both. One of the biggest challenges we face in preventing suicide is knowing when exactly is the best time to offer intervention. Too often, the intervention only happens right at the moment of crisis, which in some cases may be too late. We are interested in developing a new and effective way to identify who is at risk for suicide and to identify risk earlier than we can now. Past research has found that social media is one way to tell whether or not someone is in distress and needs help. The purpose of this study is to test whether we can identify risk long before the risk is immediate by looking at how people search for information on the internet. If we can identify risk early using this information, then we may be in a position to offer resources in a variety of ways, including sending people to online resources to help. We are looking for people who live in the United States, who are 18 years or older, and use Google to search for information online. What does it mean to participate in Searchlight? After you see this video or read the consent document below, you will complete a consent quiz indicating you understand what is expected from you to participate. You will electronically complete the consent form and get a copy for your records. After this, you will be asked to complete a few more screening questions. If you're eligible, you'll complete a 15 to 20 minute survey about your mental health, healthcare utilization, and your experience with suicidal thoughts and any suicide attempts. You will then be given a link to schedule a one-on-one -on -one Zoom meeting with one of our team members who will help you donate your Google and YouTube search data. They will also talk to you about your thoughts about suicide and or attempts. You can also take this time to ask our team about any questions you may have. This will take about 60 to 90 minutes. After this interview, we will know if you have enough Google data to proceed in the study. If you do, you will be sent a survey every two weeks. This survey takes about three minutes to complete. Four times during the year, you will also do another Google donation on your own, but we are always here to help if you need it. You will receive $50 for the initial interview, $25 for a sufficient data donation, $5 for every other week surveys, $10 for each additional donation, $25 for the final survey and data donation, which is up to $240 in Amazon gift codes. When you donate your Google data, it will be shared on a secure database at UW. We developed a secure data file transfer program to make sure your data arrives at UW and nowhere else. When you complete the surveys, we will be using an electronic form called REDCAP, which was specifically developed for secure data management and research. All this information is stored in a high security database, but your personal information, like consent, will be kept separate from your research information, including your donations and surveys. Your information will be paired with a study ID, which further protects your information. No study can promise that your data is 100% protected, but we will do everything in our power to make sure that your data is secure. We do not sell your information to anyone, and only the investigators in the study have access to the information. Please know that while we are asking you questions about your feelings and suicide risk, the study is not a substitute for treatment. If you are feeling distressed when we speak to you, we will offer resources that may help. If you are feeling distressed at any time during the study, please seek out care or call 988. All studies have risks and rarely have direct benefit to you. The benefits of this study is that we may be able to learn about how to best identify suicide risk early. The main risk in this study is in talking about your feelings of suicide. This may cause temporary distress. Our interviewers are trained to talk to you about these issues in a compassionate and safe manner. Your participation is voluntary and you can decide to not participate at any time. Just let us know if you decide to withdraw so we don't bother you. Again, thank you for watching this video. You can read a copy of this consent below. We appreciate you considering joining our team to help improve the way we help people who are experiencing feelings of suicide. 
Your contribution to the future of mental health care is invaluable.